Wow, it's been a while since I've covered one of these, you guys. And all of you who don't know, it is I, the Rambling Collector, back here with another review for all of you. And as I said again, it has been a while since I've covered an audio drama like this. If you all have looked back on my channel, then you would know that at one point I did cover some of the War Master, at least discs 1 and 2, or, or I should say sets 1 and 2. And I have had set 3 for a while, but I have not reviewed it until now, which for that, I apologize for all of you Doctor Who fans who actually watch my channel. But anyways, so today I am here to talk about the War Master, Rage of the Time Lords. The third disc set in the War Master series, and honestly, I think this is one of the better ones. Like, don't get me wrong. Master of Kalos and the first one were absolutely fantastic, but this one has one advantage over both of those. We've got the Doctor in this one. Yeah, as a matter of fact, this one is the first one that I've seen with the War Master, Derek Jacobi, and the War Doctor, Paul McGann. And I apologize if I butcher those names. But anyways, so the main plot of this one escaped me for a while until I continued listening and I gotta say it was fascinating so the plot of this one involves the war master or I guess I should just say the master going around on different time periods collecting people who all have these unique abilities whether it be chameleon skin to psychic powers or something of that nature fueled by emotions and to be quite honest with you, at first, as I'm listening to this, I'm wondering, what is this guy up to? What is his plan here? Is he still trying to stay out of the war, or what? But then, later on, you learn what his master plan is, and why he seems to be collecting all of these people with these unique abilities throughout different periods of time. Which, that alone was pretty dang fascinating, especially seeing the master show up at the later half of the first two, three discs. But... It is around the later half that you start learning what his master plan is, and that, that is that, in fact, he is hiding out on a base on the edge of the universe, crafting a super weapon at the urging of the Time Lords, as they seem to be losing their war against the Daleks. And this is during the period of the Last Great Time War, to those of you Doctor Who fans. But anyways, what I liked about this one is that we actually get to see some of Paul McGann's Doctor. For those of you who don't know, Paul McGann was originally the 8th Doctor after Sylvester McCoy, but before Christopher Eccleston, the ninth Doctor. And to be quite honest, I feel like Paul McGann is really underrated as one of the Doctor characters. Seriously. The guy had the most one Doctor Who movie and a short called Night of the Doctor where he was fantastic. Now... The Doctor Who TV movie, from what I've heard, was not that great, but Night of the Doctor really helped to bring Paul McGann back into the spotlight for a bit, but it is here that I think he really shines, as he has his own series, as well as his own appearances throughout all the Big Finish audios. But again, just from listening to Rage of the Time Lords and how Paul McGann's character is someone who is trying to stay out of the war, trying to keep the universe intact as much as he can, and yet is still getting dragged into this whole thing because he is a Time Lord and his species is now at war. But the fact that he manages to find the Master's base and discovers that the Master is actually building this kind of massive super weapon, which in all actuality is known as only the Rage, hence the name Rage of the Time Lords. But in all honesty, Finding out that this weapon that he's building is a massive bioweapon with all these unique abilities, all these psychic powers or chameleon skin, all of that, just combined into one massive creature that is fueled by nothing but pure, unbridled fury, was absolutely terrifying to me. And then, of course, this thing gets loose, because why the heck not? And it's discovered that it is actually growing in intelligence, acknowledging the ma master as father. And that alone is a terrifying thought. You have this thing in your head calling you father, and it is planning to essentially follow a black hole or a time stream warp 
into the beginning of the universe just to grow and learn. That is a horrifying thought, and I'm not going to lie. But here's where Paul McGann and Derek Jacoby really shine. As you see their conflicting characters as how they are, clashing against each other in a battle of wits and words. And honestly, at the end, as we see them work together to try to take down the rage, it was beautiful to behold, you guys. Like, we rarely ever see the Master and the Doctor working together. They are always at each other's throats. But this being one of the few times that we actually see them come together and work towards a common goal of stopping some greater evil than the Master is absolutely amazing to behold. All in all, I looked at the reviews for this one, and a lot of people give it a sort of mid-tier score. Me, personally, I love this one. Because we get to see the Doctor come in, we get Paul McGann a chance to shine. Derek Jacoby is fantastic as always. Seriously, the guy was made to play the Master, I swear. I know I'm probably gushing a little bit, but seriously, if you check this guy out, if you at least listen to the first War Master series, you will understand what I am talking about. All in all, though, this one definitely stands out because you have these two Time Lords with each other. I'm actually eager to see more. I need to get back on the War Master series at some point. I've kind of dropped it after this one, but I need to pick it up again. Anyways, you guys, let's get on to the score, shall we? So all in all, if I were to give this a score, I would give Rage of the Time Lords a solid 8 out of 10. For the sheer fact that it combines the Master with Derek Jacoby and the Doctor with Paul McGann. But all in all, I do see what people might have issues with, especially considering others like Master of Callus and Only the Good, the first two sets of the War Master, but this one still is fairly well done. Especially when you combine the Master and the Doctor, you know there's going to be chaos involved. But I would definitely recommend checking this one out, especially if you want to see the Master and the Doctor teaming up together. But if you guys have stuck around to the end of this video, thank you so much for listening to this crazy man's ramblings. And if you like more, or if you want me to talk about more audiobooks or audio dramas, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you did like this video, feel free to leave a like, let me know your thoughts in the comments section, or subscribe if you're interested for more. Anyways, you guys, thank you again for listening. This is Ramblin' Collector signing off. Have an awesome day. Thank you for listening.